Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvedril and in this video we're going to be installing Windows 10 on a computer from 12 years ago. Yeah, a very old computer. So for that end I'm going to be using this bootable USB that contains a Windows 10 image. If you want to know how to create this tool, I have done it in the past. Um, where to download it from, how to create it. If you are interested in that, you can access that video, click it in the top right of this screen. So it can be Windows 10, Windows 8, or Windows 7. So for this video, we're going to, we are going to be using this Dell Optiplex 360 that came out in 2008. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be going deep on this computer because I have done two videos in the past. One, I show the computer and the other, I upgrade the BIOS version. So if you want to install a new operating system in an older computer, I advise you to at least upgrade the BIOS version. Okay. So what do we need for Windows 10? The minimum characteristics requirements that we need are one gigahertz of processor, one gigabyte of RAM for 32 bits, and two for 64 bits, at least 20 gigabytes of hard disk space, direct X9, a resolution of 800 by 600, and this Dell Optiplex has an Intel Core 2 Duo CPU 2.8 gigahertz, 64 bits, four gigabytes of RAM, and a lot of space. By the way, the tool that we, the USB can be either 32 bits or 64 bits, okay? So now the next step is going to be to connect the USB, the bootable USB in one of the available USB ports on the desktop computer. So right now I'm going to turn on the computer and I'm going to start uh, pressing F12 to access the boot menu. Sometimes it's escape, sometimes it's F10 on a Dell computer. So here we are in the boot menu. So as you can imagine, I need USB device. So I'm going to press enter, but right away I see this alert. System battery voltage is low. So that's the CMOS battery. Uh, I'm not going to, I have replaced it some in many of my videos, but we're, it's not needed to do it right now. It's not going to affect the installation, but I need to replace it. Uh, anyway, it's, it's 12 years old. So it's very interesting that it's still working. So now, uh, as you can see, Windows is, is starting. The video sped up in many parts, so you, you don't have to, to see the actual time that it took. So here we can see the main screen, the first screen, I, I should say. So this one is where you choose the language. I'm going to leave it as English because, well, that's the default, and I'm just going to click Next. So in here, you just have to click Install now and Windows setup is starting. So the reason it's kind of slow is because the hard drive is 12 years old. So it's interesting that it's still working. So in this part, is it's telling you to activate Windows. If you have the serial, uh, the product key, you can type it there. But in this case, I don't have it because this computer used to have Windows Vista. So I'm just going to select, I don't have the Windows key. Next, we are going to choose what version of Windows 10 we are going to use. In this case, I will choose Windows 10 Home, but you can choose Windows 10 Pro as well. So we click Next, and we are going to be accepting the license from Microsoft. So you just have to check on, I agree the license terms. And here we're going to choose custom because we're going to delete what uh, the hard drive already has for Windows 10. So uh, now we have to choose the where do we want to install Windows. As you can see, we have two partitions. That's because Windows does that. Um, and we're going to delete the partition in top because it's the, the one that we really don't need. And we're going to select the bigger, the bigger one, 150 gigabytes. So I'm going to go next and it's going to tell us that this partition has an old version of Windows. So that is going to keep it in a folder called windows.old. So no problems with that. We just click next and the process is starting. So this is going to take some time because of the hard drive, like I mentioned, it's very old, okay? But while we are waiting that, this is a good moment for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So now I'm going to stop the video and come back when it is almost done. So here we're back after, I don't know, it must have been um, 25 minutes or something. So it's, uh, it's a 99% and then the process is going to continue. 
So the video is sped up in this part, so you don't, again, you don't have to wait all the time that it took, but again, the reason it's taking a lot of time is because of the hard drive. If we were to, now Windows is going to restart, and the process is going to continue. If we were to install an SSD on this uh, computer, oh, the process would be way faster than that. So just keep that in mind. So as I mentioned, uh, the process is very, well, <laughs> the speed is sped up here, so you don't have to wait all the real time. So it's rebooting a few times while Windows is installing. And at the end, well, not at the end, the next, the, the next uh, step is going to be this. Let's start with the region. So I went just to leave it in the US uh, because that's the default. You can change it if you will, and then click next. Then uh, you are going to choose is the right, the right keyboard layout. Yes, I don't have another, so I just press skip. And this computer is not connected to the internet. You can connect it if you wish, of course, but I'm just going to select that it's not connected. Here it's telling me, hey, hey, connect guy, connect, connect, connect. So now I'm just going to continue without the internet setup. We can connect it at any moment. You, it's not needed to choose it here. So now I'm going to create a username for this computer. I'm just going to type Alvendril, which is my name, and then next. And I'm just going to create a password. So I'm going to repeat it. Then this step is very interesting for me because you have to choose three, uh, three um, secret answers. I advise you to remember them because if you forget the password, these three questions are going to help you um, reset it. So now for a few seconds, uh, this is the privacy, se privacy settings. It's, this is really up to you. I just disabled a few, not all of them. So I don't send the data to Microsoft and then next. And here, do more, do more across devices. So just next and use Cortana. I actually like Cortana. It's very, I like it a lot. I don't know what to say <laughs> when I'm using Windows. I just use Cortana for my co command voices. So here, this is the last step before we are allowed to get into Windows. And this takes about three minutes, two minutes or something. And here we are finally in the desktop for Windows 10 on this old computer. So now I'm going to open the, uh, what is it called? Um, I don't remember what is it called. Uh, the task manager, <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that. Okay, we open the task manager and we, go, we are going to click on the performance tab. So we're going to see the CPU. So as you can read there, it's, a, um, co it's an Intel Core Duo CPU and you can see 2.8 gigahertz. Then, uh, besides that, uh, you can see the graph, how it's behaving. It's going to be up in a few more seconds. And then we're, we see that we have four gigabytes of uh, RAM. As you remember, we only need uh, two for 64 bits. In this case, it's a 64 bits processor. So that's okay. And now we are going to go to this PC to see the actual hard drive. So as you can see here, it's 150 gigabytes. And, the, uh, and uh, next you can see I mean, next to it, you can see the USB that we have used to install Windows. By the way, you can remove the USB. We don't need it anymore. Now we're going to close this and we're going to back uh, to the task manager because uh, after a few seconds, the CPU usage is going to skyrocket for a few, for a few seconds. So I just want you to show you that uh, it's, not, it's not going to be behaving like this forever. So again, this video is sped up, so you don't have to wait all the time. So this is just to show you that after a few a few seconds, uh, the system is going to be stable. It's going to become stable, like you can see it here. So that can, that lets you know that uh, if you install Windows on an old computer, it's not like it's going to be uh, the computer is going to suffer or it's going to do a great effort to run. It. Okay. So as you can see in this video, we have installed Windows 10 on a 12 years year old computer and it's working, working with no problem. So if you have an old computer that you want to uh, repurpose, you can install it Windows, or Windows 8, Windows 7, and you can still use it. I don't know, for testing, maybe you want to turn it into, into your file server or just to practice. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to install Windows 10 on an old computer. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.